and Leon County is going to be the first dementia caring community in Florida. Now, of course, this is because of all these people behind me and people in the crowd that this is happening. We have some great people with us on stage you're going to hear about today. People from the state, from the city, from the county. We have special advocates who are here as well. And it is collectively all of us coming together that is going to make this happen here in the city, here in the county. I want to thank, of course, the Senior Center for hosting us today. That's really a big deal that we could do this here. This is such a fixture in this community. I want to talk a little bit about why we're doing this. When we think about dementia, it's a, it's a big issue here in Florida. There's over 500,000 people that are affected by this issue. 500,000 that are diagnosed with Alzheimer's alone, just one type of dementia. And you think about all the people that are affected, that includes the families, that includes caregivers. And there's over 1.1 million caregivers that are dealing with dementia-related type issues. That's a lot of people. That's millions of Floridians that are living and dealing with this issue day in and day out. And there's thousands in Tallahassee alone. So in response, we want to make sure that we, as a department, want to go forward with the Dementia Care and Cure Initiative. Because you see, there's a misconception when it comes to what dementia looks like. It's not a normal process of aging. It's a disease. And it's something that we shouldn't just accept as a normal part of life. But you know what? As you see everybody here today, together we can do something about this. We can do something. We will do something about this. And we are going to do something about this. So you can see here as a state, as a county, as a city, we're all coming together because we believe that we can do something. And you see, with dementia, often people don't know how to deal with it. They end up suffering alone because, look, it's not like an issue like cancer. As horrible as that is, there's some physical things you can see outwardly. But with dementia, it's often been described as something called the invisible disease. It's something that you often don't see, and you can't tell if someone's living with it and dealing with it. So people feel like they have to suffer alone sometimes. But I can tell you here with the people standing behind us, is that there is a community for you, there's a community for your family, and for caregivers. There are people here that care and that want to help engage in this issue. I want to applaud Governor Scott, I want to applaud the legislature, we Senator Montford, Representative Allen Williams behind us. I want to applaud uh, them as well because there's some additional funding that's been put forward to help specific issues like this with Alzheimer's disease, with dementia. And I want to thank them for that. Millions of additional dollars. This is going to help real people with real needs in a real place here. <laughs> And establishing Tallahassee and Leon County as the first dementia caring community, this is an unparalleled collaborative in the state. This is a big deal. This is where we can see amazing things happening with great innovations and great solutions to help people live a better life, a more productive life here. So as a collaborative, as we come together, we want to see three things. We want to see the awareness raised on this issue of dementia. We want to see assistance coming to this community in Tallahassee and Leon County. And we want to continue to advocate for care and for cure. And you know what's great? Everybody can plug into this. We're going to have a, a web page that's set up on elderaffairs.org. There's going to be feedback that we're going to want to want. There's going to be countless volunteer opportunities as well. So anybody can be engaged in this initiative. I want to say to all of us, let's make a difference today. Let's do something about this. So it's my esteemed privilege uh, to now welcome to the podium Senator Bill Monfort and looking forward to hearing how he's going to talk about how this is going to really bring some help to this special place and to the families of this community. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Uh, isn't he a great secretary? Yeah. yeah. I think you might have been one of my former students. <laughs> and that's a, that's a doggone good compliment. <laughs> but let me tell you my, my experience with the Secretary. Uh, you know, if you're in a position like I am sometimes, and, and Representative Williams and, and others, 
Uh, you, you talk to a lot of people and you hear a lot of good ideas. And some of those just don't come to, to uh, fruition. But the secretary and I sat down one day in my office and we were, we were talking about this issue. And I was just so impressed with his knowledge of this issue, with his commitment to this issue. And he said, we're going to make Tallahassee the capital, the first, the center for making sure that we address this issue. And he did it. And you did it rather quickly. And so it's amazing to me how we can take such a, a good idea and move on it so quickly. If we could do everything, if we could address all of our issues as far as why we're doing this, we'd be, we'd be doggone good. I don't want to get you in trouble with the governor, but are you running for governor? We got to get this out on the table. Let me tell you what's important. What's important here is we are going to be the center of discussion. We're going to be the center of research. We're going to be the center of solving this, an issue and addressing an issue that has gone unaddressed to, to a great degree for far too long. This is a disease. And it is something that quite frankly, that sometimes people just don't want to talk about. But under the leadership of the secretary, the governor and others, we're going to address it in a positive, upfront manner, and we're going to give help to those who need it, including caregivers. Sometimes we don't recognize just how important our caregivers are and the family members are to addressing this issue. If you take, for, for example, Pat Hogan and Everett Yarbrough here, and, and uh, they're in the back, and we work really closely with them, with, with Dr. Halpern as, as well. It's a good example of how people come together and to work to solve an issue. And this is one that really we really need to address. I'm so proud of this community. I am proud to be a part of the community with the state and local governments and volunteers and everybody come together to do what's right. And what is right is to address this issue for the sake of those who need it and especially those the family members and caregivers as, as well. And I want to thank the Secretary too for another reason. I serve 11 counties. My Senate district goes from Taylor and uh, Hamilton, Taylor, Hamilton, Jefferson, Madison, Leon, Walcott, Franklin, Gulf, Calhoun, Liberty, Gaston. It's a big one. But let me tell you one of the why this is important to have it in Tallahassee as well. A lot of our rural areas simply do not have access to good quality health care, and this is part of it as well. This is a disease. It's not only a symbolic issue having it here, but the fact that a lot of these rural areas will have access to the tremendous amount of effort that we're going to put forth right here as the center. So, Mr. Secretary, on behalf of especially this area and the rural areas uh, in North Florida, thank you for your commitment to this, and thank you for you, thank all of you for being here and being a part of this wonderful occasion. I'm just glad to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you to my favorite North Florida Senator, best looking guy out there. Uh, and, I, and this is a great example of what happens when you've got leadership at the state with the secretary and our state senator and our local government all banding together. And if you look around the room and you see some of the people behind me, some of the people with the uniforms, these are the people that are dealing with this disease on a daily basis. These are the people that we're gonna hopefully put in position so that they're better prepared to deal with the issues in our community. And it's nice seeing Tallahassee to be first in this with Leon County and the city of Tallahassee and the state working with us. So we've got, uh, Florida's the second largest population of, of uh, dementia patients in the country. And certainly, as everybody knows, we've got an elderly population and this is something we need to get in front of. So we're excited here in Leon County to be first and foremost to be partnering with the city, partnering with the secretary and state agencies and partnering with our state senator and our state legislators to try and get in front of this and build a community that is the kind of community that's welcoming and accommodating and works with people with this disease. And uh, we've done versions of this with the senior friendly community. We've done versions of this with the Choose Tallahassee. So this is another component into how do we make Tallahassee not just a great place, but a wonderful, a beautiful place that everybody wants to come to. So it's an honor to be here today. And we look forward to working on this project. We look forward to great things in the years ahead. Um, and I will turn it over to my city commission partner here, Bill Zipper. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, 
you always pick up on things if you're one of the later ones to speak. And um, I didn't hear Bill Munford speak about how Brian and I perhaps were at one time, maybe your students or <laughs> neither one of us were actually. Um, so I'm also given a, a sheet of paper because uh, we typically do this. Um, and that is, I just want to recognize some folks here that are from the city of Tallahassee. Um, city Auditor Bert Fletcher, I saw you back there, Bert. Uh, city Treasurer James, Jim Cook, excuse me, Jim, it's written James. Risco, one of our assistant city managers. Uh, Cynthia Barber, another assistant city manager. Um, Alan Williams, behind me, thank you for coming, Alan. Um, and Marjorie Turnbull, where are you, Marjorie? Behind us, too. Um, and also, I wanted to uh, uh, recognize Don Wilson from Westminster Oaks. Um, we had an event the other day where we recognized Dr. Sandy Halpern. If you were there, you know what a special moment it was. Um, he's an amazing man. Had breakfast with him this morning, and each time I meet with him, it's a combination of having fun and data dump. He is um, very <laughs> intense about how he feels uh, what we should be doing when it comes to um, um, Alzheimer's and dementia here. And Dr. Ken Brummelsmith from the uh, Florida State University College of Medicine. Ken, thank you for coming. Um, um, we're eager to take on this challenge and opportunity. Um, you know, Tallahassee is um, um, mostly known for our 65,000 plus students, but we do have an aging population. Some of us are part of that aging population. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I see myself on, in, in video or such, I think, who is that old man that's on that video? Um, but we, we provide, uh, we hope to provide a far better life for those that not only are suffering from dementia or Alzheimer's or other forms of dementia, but um, for the caregivers. 